Hey guys, it's Bades1 here. I had to open up with the good old retro opening because that's how it always used to start. Hey guys, it's Bades1 here. And you know what? In a way, I still am Bades1 even though that name has been changed to Bades Own. It still spells Bades1 too. So there you go. Um, but yeah, for the new people, welcome to the Bades Own channel. Um, guys, this is the special 500 subscriber video. Um, there's so much I've got to say, really, guys. Uh, we've come a long way, and um, it's been a long journey, and I've been on YouTube for nine years, and wow. You know, I've been through a lot on this channel. My channel's gone through a lot of changes. It's gone through a lot of ups and downs. Um... You've got, you guys have seen me at my best and at my worst, you know. You've um, seen me when I was completely healthy at the start. And you've seen me when I got unwell. You've seen my whole journey, you know. Um, I've documented a lot of my life on this channel. Uh, I started this channel at the age of 12. And I kept doing it till now you know I'm 21 years old now and I'm gonna be 22 this year and it's just fuck man time's flown by so much and I've met a lot of cool people on this site I've met a lot of awesome people I've had a whole bunch of loyal viewers that have been great to me for a lot of years and there's even been new viewers that have come in within the last couple of years that have been quite loyal as well, that have been supportive of my gameplay live streams, you know. Um, but first of all, I want to start getting into some thank yous, because this channel would not have started if it was not for one person. Um, you know, when I was a young boy, I watched YouTube, and I looked up to people. And um, my main guy that I looked up to as a young kid was Tom Chattelbash. Now, I did a video in the past mucking around, you know, acting like a psychotic fan because I like acting, you know. And, um, you know, I did try to reach out to Tom a few times because I, I wanted to let him know how much of an inspiration he was to me. And I wanted to, you know, have a talk with him because I thought, you know, it'd be cool at least to talk to a, a guy that is kind of like, you know, an influence on me. Uh, in my channel, you know, and what I'm wanting to do. I wanted to film review at the time, and I did film reviews for a lot of years, and I made a lot of reviews. You know, I didn't know how, how to do the right tags back then and the right thumbnails and good editing. I only had my webcam back then, and things were a lot more difficult. So, um, you know, I, I didn't really pick up on those things, and um, until later on, like when I started doing the parodies and things on the I Got You Productions channel, which started getting hundreds of thousands of views because I picked up on it then. Um, you know, but uh, then the channel got flagged and all that crap, but I'm not getting into that. Um, freaking, I was young back then, I didn't really know, but I was just having fun, you know. YouTube was um, a place for me to come on, have fun. Uh, I was only a young kid, so I didn't know how to do tags or thumbnails. I just did webcam videos of me reviewing films. It was simple. And I met a whole bunch of people that were interested in films like me. Uh, one guy in particular, I met uh, Ryan57361. And um, that guy became a best friend of mine. Like, we would talk a lot on Skype and... There'd be some times where he'd be up till really late at night and he'd just be talking to me on Skype. And, uh, you know, I'd do the same with him. You know, there'd be times where it'd be really late where I'm at and I'd be talking to him on Skype. And, um, you know, he loved films like me. He wanted to be a filmmaker. He wanted to make films. And he said, you know, when I'm older, Baden, if you make it, you know, promise me you'll help me out and you'll always remember me. And I said, you know what, if I ever make it one day, Ryan, I'm going to... I'm going to fly to you or I'm going to have you fly to me and, um, you know, I'm going to make sure you're all right and then I'll look after you. And I always remember that conversation. And that promise still stands, Ryan, you know. I know we haven't talked a whole lot, 
you know, over the last few years, and I know that um, life has kept us both busy, and you've gone off and you've done college, you've done a lot of stuff, man, and I'm proud of you for that, for going after what you've gone after, and you've done a lot of things, you've done things with mental health awareness and stuff like that, and you've gone and um, made some really positive uh, uh, steps in your life, and you've built up a nice, good foundation there. Um, you went and you moved out and you did a lot of things, bro, and I'm proud of you. Um, always will be a best friend of mine, even though we we don't, we don't talk every day like we used to, man. You're still always going to be a best friend, man, at the freaking core of my heart, man. Um, so... I met so many other people as well, and I'm, I'm going to get into that. Um, but before I do, it's best for me to just, you know, tell a story. Um, when, when I was young, there was a thing that was really big in the film review community, and um, it was called the You Reviewers Awards. It was a YouTube event they do every now and then. You know, it's an award show. People on YouTube, like these film critics, were like rating the best movies of the year and they would say the awards and all this sort of thing. And um, you'd have YouTubers come on and be guests in it and they would read out an award or something. And um, I was really, really wanting to be part of it. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. All my big favourite YouTubers are in it. I just want to be a part of, of it. I want to be alongside these guys and I want to be part of the same project and collab with them. Um, and I asked them, and they're like, oh, you need 1,000 subscribers, and I was like, fuck. Didn't have that much back then, man. I was only a young kid. I only had, like, 200, maybe 180 or something. I don't know. But I was like, wow, fuck, you know. Don't have that much. And um, so I got upset, and uh, Chris Stuckman was the guy, you know, he... He said something like, oh, don't try and, you know, get us to do whatever, you know, ride your own waves, you know. He was saying things like that. Um, I've actually still got that um, comment on my channel somewhere. If I go to my channel, I'll see it there. It's from Chris Stuckman. He says, uh, don't try and, you know, coast off of other people's thing. But like he was being a real ass about it, and I got really annoyed, and I got upset. Because I looked up to these guys, and I thought, wow, why is this guy being such a dick to me, you know? Like, when all I do is look up to this guy, you know? And, um, <laughs> I'm just finding, like, all these old channel comments. Like, there's Ryan, thanks for the sub, man, really appreciate it. Seven years ago, man, I subbed to the channel. Really appreciate it. Nice, easy A review. I still have to see that. And I said, uh, thanks guys for coming on the channel. Thanks Ryan, Easy A is a good movie, check it out. And then he's like, thanks, you too. Um, but yeah, where is Chris Stuckman's comment? I remember Raycom, Raycom, shout out to you bro, you were fucking amazing man. You still are bro, it's been a long fucking time. Uh, Tyler Christian, Joseph Akers, wow, Joseph Akers, haven't heard from him in years, but Joseph, if you ever come across this video, bro, shout out to you, man, I know we had some, you know, there was ups and downs where, I know that, um, just a certain things, I don't know, um, I don't know, Joseph was a bit of a different guy, Joseph was a bit different, and, um, sometimes that, that different personality would come out. But uh, I've always wished you well, man. And I, I was a part of your movie review award show, which was awesome. And I loved it. And it was good fun. And um, I'll always treasure that, bro, because that was that was great shit. Seriously. Um, I think it might be in my Baden Ray Redshaw account. It must be. Baden Ray Redshaw. It must have been in my Baden Ray Redshaw account. So I said, um, I'd, uh, I'd asked him something like advice or something. He goes here. Um, 
A word of advice. This is from Chris Stuckman. And this is on my Baden Ray Redshaw channel, right? Baden Ray Redshaw. See? 70 subscribers. And he's being such a dick. He said, a word of advice. This is how you get my bad side. If you really want to make it, work, then work for it. Prove that you have what it takes to be great. Don't ride someone else's waves. And um, I said, man, I'm riding my own waves. Which is fucking true, man. I've always rid my own waves. I asked him for some simple advice. And I got so upset about it. And it started this fucking feud. Like, Chris Stuckman said that and it affected me. And I was like, wow, this guy is saying, you know, like, oh, you can't be part of the U reviewers because you haven't got a thousand subscribers. You know, you've got to work for it. You're getting on my bad side because, you know, you're not working for it. And that really, like, that got to me, man. And I was like, shit, you know. And I, I thought, well, fuck. And so I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create my own award show. And I started this war. And I still need to do that Unknown Movie Awards, bro. I still need to somehow find a way to get back into that old channel and get all that shit again. But, um, yeah. That Unknown Movie Awards has been, like, in the... That's been, like, a project that I wanted to start but never did. Uh, I would have loved to. But uh, maybe it's something I can do still. Maybe I can get... Ah, uh, guys. I have a 1,000 video special coming up because I'm only a couple of videos away till my 1,000th upload. And I've only just reached 500, actually. As of this day, I've got um, 503 subscribers. So thank you so much, guys. Literally, it means so much to me. But, um, you know, I went and made this this other collab channel after that, after I had um, been rejected by all those guys. You know, Schmoes and I were all right about it. They were like, oh, you know, um, we would love everyone to be a part of it. But, you know, there's these rules that we've put down because of, you know... And I understand where they're coming from. I don't want to be fucking oversaturated, but I just didn't like the way Chris Stuckman handled it, handled it, and it got me angry. And I made these videos on him, and it got nasty. And he blocked me off everything, and he talked to my brother on Skype and was just yelling at Dylan on Skype, and he got really angry. And you know, it was just a nasty war, man. I had all these followers coming after me. Uh, but he's a bigger dude now, he's a bigger YouTuber now, and he gets a lot of views. He's got like one million subscribers. I never thought he'd ever reach that much, to be honest. Um, I thought, oh, okay, well, the biggest this guy's ever going to get is a couple of hundred thousand, maybe, but that's about it. But um, he certainly did surpass what I thought he would. Um, and props to him for that. Respect to him for that. And I do put that all to bed. Um... I do put that all to bed, but I, you know, me being a younger kid back then, um, he didn't, you know, he didn't need to be like that. He didn't need to say it like that, bro. Like, that was like, it affected me as a young dude that looked up to these guys, you know, because I was looking up to these dudes and I really wanted, you know, I wanted to feel like I was accepted in the community and they weren't like that. They weren't accepting me. So I was like, it's kind of like the black sheep, you know, in my own corner. I had to create my own little community, and I did. I did that with the Unknown Movie um, Critic account, but I spelled it Uncow Movie Critic because, you know, back then my spelling, it was good, but I, I, I misspelled it, and back then you couldn't edit, and I was like, fuck, you know, I've got to live with this fucking channel name. Um, and, you know, I met ma amazing people, you know. I, I liked a movie called Skyline at the time, and I went out and I looked for... Uh, people reviewing Skyline and I found Stefan Dobber amazing guy Molly Rules 999 man you've been a great friend of mine you've been through a lot of shit a lot of stuff similar to me you've been through cancer I haven't been through cancer but I've had a really bad degenerative desert like illness man that has diminished my swallowing my esophageal um, stuff and everything, bro, like, I can't even eat solid foods anymore, the only solids I can eat is, uh, you know, chocolate and smooth stuff, you know, I can't have any other things that are hard to, uh, get down, because it's just, I'm that far fucking fucked up, you know, um, but you've dealt with a lot of shit, bro, and I, I know that, and I... 
I know how hard it is and I really give you a lot of respect for fighting the cancer and for um you know being as strong as you are and being the awesome guy that even though when I was young and when I was 12 and I had a higher pitch voice and I was really hyperactive and uh, maybe somewhat annoying uh, you still accepted me you're an older dude and you were like in university or college at the time and you were an older dude but you still um you still were a part of my projects and you did videos with me we did interviews together we um did the you know the movie talk thing where we sat down and talked about avatar and a bunch of movies like we did a lot of cool stuff man and um you know i met eric Veerfoller. uh he was amazing still is Eric, um, Eric's channel name, here we go, I'm pretty sure I've got him in my recommended, uh, which is, where, where, where are ya, channels, no, um, I'll go home, um, on, oh, de oh no, alright, that's, uh, I need to go to my normal channel, I need to go to my normal channel, <laughs> All right, here we go. Eric Veerthola, 92. Now, same thing of Eric. He come on board the Unknown Movie Critics and um, he did interviews with me, he did videos with me. Um, it was really cool, you know, and there's one really awesome thing that um, Stefan did. He made, like, something in Gary's mind. He made, like, a Happy Birthday Eric video and I was like, wow, that's so cool that he's done that for Eric. You know, it was it was really awesome. Uh, we were all we always cared about each other in that community. Like even if it was something so small as just someone's birthday, we would make a video and be like, "Happy birthday, man!" You know, I hope you have a good day or whatever. You know, I remember that I do videos like um, if I'd upset Ryan one time, I'd make a video saying, "Hey Ryan, you know, I'm sorry, man, that I've done <laughs> that. I, you know, told." Uh, Dustin Mason this and Dustin Mason was probably he was my arch nemesis he was my rival on YouTube I oh, shit you not yeah Chris Stuckman was at some point but if you want to talk about all time arch nemesis rival Dustin Mason Mr. G movie reviews Mr. Google he was it and he you know Still to this day, even when I got older and I messaged him years later, he still was like, fuck off. And he was really pissed off at me. He held a lot of rage, a lot of hatred. And that kind of hatred and shit is not normal, man. I thought, okay, maybe he suffers from mental health. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't want to... I'm not saying he's crazy. Maybe he just deals with things and he, he's different and he deals with things in a different way. Uh, but back then he would like force people to do reviews and they'd have to be done on time otherwise he'd kick them out of his group um, you know he had another fucking channel name as well at some point called Countdown Gods um, it's all flooding back to me now <laughs> a lot of memories man a lot of memories there was only bloody 12 back then um, it's so weird it feels like it was yesterday but then again it's like so long ago um, yeah, but, man, there was heaps of people, there was Least Like Critic, I think it's Least Like Critic 75, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, and then there's Nate Dunning, and Nate Dunning, man, he's fucking awesome, Nate Dunning was a really cool guy, man, and he still is, you know, I message him every now and then, and, um, you know, Nate Dunning, all those guys, Eric, Nate, Stefan, um, and I've got to really thank John von Shelton as well. He he met me in 2013, but uh, he's really helped me over the years, and he's done some awesome projects with me. And he, um, you know, he helped me reach 500. You know, I, I didn't ask him to. I didn't say, "Hey, go and ask everyone to subscribe to me." But he spammed everyone. He was like, "Help him get to 500, guys. Help him, you know, subscribe." And I was like, wow, man, because he put in all that work, all that effort, you know, to make sure that I've reached 500. He was like, 
you know what, you're fucking making it to 500. He's, he's not only just helped me make it to 500, I've passed 500. I'm now 503. So I really do have to thank um, John for that. Uh, he's been an amazing guy. He's dealt with a lot of things too. Um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go too personal for him, but you know, he's uh, dealt with a lot of things in his life, and um, you know, a lot of the people that I do know have dealt with a lot of things in their life, and um, I've seen them go through it all, and uh, it's it's difficult, but everyone that I know here that have been a part in helping me grow on YouTube are very strong people. And um, that's one thing you've got to be proud of yourselves for, guys. The fact that you're strong, that you've been, you know, dealing through things in life, but being able to push through and get forward, you know, that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, that's what I've had to do with my health, you know. It's been difficult, but I've done it. 500. 500. You know what, guys, I think for the 1,000 video special, and this is one thing I want to do. I want to throw this out there, guys. I want for the 1,000 video special for us all to come together again. Um, I want us all to be together again, man. Like, I want all the old classic people that were a part of my YouTube history to be in it. I want Eric in the video. I want Nate in the video. I want Stefan in the video. <laughs> I want uh, John. I want Ryan. I want everyone, man. I, I want all of them. Because you guys were a big part of my history. It's 1,000 videos, bro. It's the 1,000 special. You better get on Bades One's channel for freaking the 1,000th, like... Because, you know, you guys have been a big part of my history and I know I'm only a small channel and I haven't even reached like five or like 1,000 yet. Like, it's been so many years. I've been on this damn site for freaking nine years, right? And I haven't even reached 1,000. <laughs> it's, uh, some people would say that's bad, but you know, it's, we've made our own small community here and, um, at least the people that do watch, they're like... They're really supportive and really awesome, and um, they've always been great. You know, I've 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 done a, I've been through a lot of changes over the years. I you know I changed to doing gaming and wrestling and doing a lot of stuff. I do movie reviews still, but rarely. You know, it's not all the time like I used to. Um, but yeah, it it I do want to start getting back into film reviews as well again and um keep on it a bit you know make it a bit more regular than what it is because it's like hardly ever happening um but yeah guys thank you so much um you know there's also one guy that i want to mention as well he um you know he's a guy that stopped youtube a long time ago and it upset me it really upset me that he stopped because uh, he had a lot of promise, man. He was a good dude, a really good guy, but he copped a lot of negativity from Dustin. And Dustin tried to sabotage his reputation. Dustin went on about Isaiah. And yes, I'm talking about Isaiah T. Showbiz. Uh, I don't know if he even still sees my videos. He might have forgotten me by now. But Isaiah Thornwell, Isaiah T. Showbiz, he was a young, um, I think he was African American. Um, he was a, he was a United States black man, and um, he was a, a young black boy back then. And he was my age, and we got on well. He was like a another best friend of mine, and I wanted him to be a part of Unknown Movie Critics, I wanted him to be a part of the Unknown Movie Awards, uh, but he quit YouTube because Dustin was uh, pressuring him a lot and it became too much for him and he got stressed out and he just kind of faded off the internet and you know I, I had him on Facebook for a bit there but then he took his Facebook down and he just disappeared and it was really mysterious it was weird it was upsetting though because I really did like the guy and um, he was like a best friend of mine and it was just sad to lose him like that um, 
it's just weird when someone fades off the off the face of the earth and you can't find them anymore. So they kind of feel like they're dead. It's horrible, but um, it's kind of how it felt. And I was like, fuck, man. And I got really upset about it. Um, thinking about it now, it's like... It still is upsetting, really, because he was... He had so much fucking promise, and he didn't have to delete his channel because some guy was pressuring him. You know, that was one thing that annoyed me about Dustin, was that he pressured a young kid to fucking delete his channel, and then his Facebook, because he was being pressured. You know, that's one thing that annoyed me about him. And he always tried to fucking pressure me and Dustin, you know, he was going to get me to join the Countdown Gods... Or, um, you know, like, what was it? It was like, oh, some fucking collab channel. But, um, I was just taking a selfie on fucking Instagram. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, the classic Baden selfies. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much, literally. I want to do a thousand special. Maybe we can do the Unknown Movie Awards, uh, Unknown Movie Awards on my channel. For the 1,000th special, that could be a long time coming thing that we finally get it done and say, hey, look, we've done it and we all come together for it. Um, it would be really great. I think, you know, that's just an idea I'm throwing out there, but I'd really love at least for the 1,000th video special that uh, Eric, Nate, all of you are in it, you know, um, Ryan, John, everyone. So, uh, even you, Stefan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Seriously, if I've if I've left anyone out, I didn't mean to. It's just I don't have that much memory on my camera. And if I was going to be mentioning people, I'd be sitting here all day because there's just so many people. You know, even I want least like critic to be involved. Um, don't forget that man. So if you see this least like critic, I do want you involved in that. It would be great. Um, I can probably put my email in the description so you guys can like and we can talk about it a bit. Um, I don't know if Lee Site Critic has Facebook. I think I asked him that years ago and he said no, he doesn't. So I could give you my email. Maybe you could email me and we could talk Lee Site Critic, Mike. Um, yeah, and uh, but anyway, I've got all everyone else on Facebook so I can message you guys in the inbox and we can sort something out. Um, but yeah, it would be great to finally do this fucking Unknown Movie Awards because it's been years, man. And, uh, you know, it was something I wanted to do when I was young. But it would be great if we could finally do it and do it fucking good. And, like, show those you reviewers, like, hey, you know what? You guys stopped and quit your you reviewers shit. But look at us. We're back and we're here and we're doing it when you're not doing it. So, anyway, guys, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Thank you for watching. And um, I love you all, seriously, you know. I can't wait till the next 500, all right? Um, peace out. Thank you all for being a part of my YouTube journey. It seriously means so much to me. Peace.